Hello, happy Friday, and welcome back to another episode of Talking Freight, the weekly freight and transportation management series brought to you by Saracis, the transportation management company. Each week, we look to bring you tips, thoughts, best practices, and trends around freight and transportation management. We continue our LTL shipping series today by discussing the four long-term ways to save with less than truckload freight shipping utilizing a TMS or transportation management system. Make sure you click this info bubble above my head right now so that you can get up to speed and watch all of the LTL shipping videos in our playlist. So your organization has decided to explore the benefits and perks of less than truckload freight shipping by diversifying your surface mode shipping or you have been an LTL shipper and are looking to save money and have a more effective program. However, the setup costs and the initial implementation of LTL relationships or the re-establishment of more LTL carrier relationships that you have today can seem daunting. You may have to learn how to navigate a new software or your organization may simply need additional training on a new transportation management system or TMS. Although these factors represent real costs, the greatest benefit is fully realized over long-term projections and operations. A dedicated TMS can further eliminate the frustrations that occur with typical full truckload shipments and small package or parcel shipments by combining all KPIs and available options into a single comprehensive tool. So let's talk now about how a TMS impacts the costs of shipping over the long term in four critical areas. First, let's address the overall costs of less than truckload freight shipping. For an organization to justify the cost of using LTL freight shipping, the topic of return on investment usually comes up. Initially, the cost seems to outweigh the benefits, but the overall cost of using less than truckload freight shipping is dramatically lower than using full truckload in the long run for short distances and small shipments. Moreover, LTL shippers often work with third-party logistics providers, called 3PLs, to keep operating costs lower, which translates into lower costs for individual shippers. The overall cost savings can be further expanded through the use of a dedicated TMS, promoting a self-service environment while maintaining the benefits of a 3PL shipper relationship. The next area to look at for long-term savings is liability insurance. Liability insurance is one of the top concerns for shippers. Having enough insurance can mean the difference between keeping an organization running or experiencing excessive fines for failure to maintain financial responsibility. All shippers should carefully consider the limitations and benefits of a particular insurance policy. If a shipment is traveling by land and sea, additional insurance coverage may be needed. Some believe marine liability coverage continues on land, but in reality, this type of insurance may not apply to international carriers. In the event of an accident, an international shipment's value could be lost without an appropriate standard of coverage, leaving the shipper to pay the full cost. Another fundamental concern about liability insurance includes errors and omissions and retaining paperwork relating to a shipment. For example, an insurance claim may require original bills of lading, notices of declination of coverage for specific shipments, and more for the claim to be paid properly. It's also important for shippers to understand the different types of liability insurance, which include the following. General liability insurance covers a truck, occupants, and cargo when the truck is not moving. Non-trucking liability insurance is used to cover damage that may occur when a truck is not in transit or housed on company premises. Primary liability insurance is the most important form of insurance for a carrier to have. In most states, the minimum requirements for this type of insurance is $750,000 worth of coverage, but some individuals may opt for higher coverages. For example, additional insurance may be purchased to cover individual trucks and occupants if the truck driver is at fault or if another driver's insurance does not pay for damages when the driver of the passenger vehicle is at fault. Obviously, the paper trail and the potential riders of exclusions to a policy can make selecting an insurance policy difficult. However, the process can be streamlined when you're using a dedicated TMS. 
Another area of long-term savings is customer satisfaction. When customers are angry, business will not be good. Less than truckload freight shipping can reduce the delays from using full truckload shipping to get products to customers. And after delivery, the value of customer feedback must be considered. Even in cases where a shipment was delivered on time, the items could be damaged or incorrect. And this can have major implications for insurance claims and processing. Customer feedback is also directly related to audits. An organization that routinely performs audits to ensure all orders are fulfilled correctly and in an acceptable time can work to reduce inefficiencies and delays, resulting in better, faster processing and shipping. Now, you may be wondering about how customer feedback affects the auditing process. Well, negative customer feedback is indicative of problems during order fulfillment and shipping. Although an audit may not have already caught issues, constant complaints along specific delivery routes or areas can isolate the source of the problems, triggering a review for the affected truckers, distribution centers, or manufacturers. Essentially, how well customer feedback is handled helps shippers recognize when an audit may be needed. However, preventative auditing, such as through our Saracis Raider, can identify potential issues even if customer feedback does not indicate a problem. The final area to consider in long-term savings using LTL with a TMS are performance reviews. As with tracking of customer feedback, a dedicated TMS is capable of tracking KPIs and analyzing metrics to determine the performance ratings of particular parties in the shipping process. In fact, the definition of auditing from the business dictionary is the systematic examination and verification of a firm's book of accounts, transaction records, other documents, and inventory. This definition alone shows how an audit can directly lead to the identification of problems in a given, sh given shipping process. Unfortunately, audits have a negative connotation and shippers tend to think of audits as a process that is handled by the government and often results in the assessment of fines. However, preventative auditing is meant to reduce costs by identifying potential problems or violations in compliance measures before they reach the point of requiring an audit from a government organization. In other words, shippers who catch problems as they arise can avoid the assessment of fines or filing of insurance claims for errors before they ever occur. This concept can be applied to individuals and teams, allowing management to determine if additional coaching or disciplinary action is warranted. As a result, costs are further reduced and in some cases, internal auditing could result in lower insurance premiums. Since less than truckload freight shipping may involve many different organizations, the best way to take advantage of internal auditing remains a 3PL with a dedicated TMS. Therefore, the organization can view internal and external benchmarking results for comparing performance against competitors. In less than truckload freight shipping, it would be impractical to share all information with competitors with one another. So a 3PL can distribute the information without violating the privacy of individual organizations. So in conclusion, few shipping processes can be more complicated than managing LTL shipping. Your organization has the power to leverage technology and experience from a 3PL and TMS to uncover hidden savings in overall cost, insurance, customer service, and performance measurement. However, you still need to take the first steps towards these savings by contacting a 3PL and TMS provider today. With time, your savings will clearly be more than the cost you're currently experiencing. Well, that's it for this week's Talking Freight. Thanks for joining us for another episode. Have any questions we can answer? Ask in the comments below and we'll provide our expert answers as soon as possible. As always, don't forget to like us here on social media as well. We're constantly sharing amazing information. You will not be sorry. And finally, if you'd prefer to get our content right to your email inbox, there's an easy way to do that. Simply head over to saracis.com today. Scroll down the page about 50% and pretty soon you'll see a box just like this come up on the website. Put in your email address and hit subscribe. We'll make sure you get each one of our blogs, all of our podcasts, and of course, each episode of Talking Freight. Thanks once again for joining us here each Friday. We'll see you next week.